Hey guys, Fat Preacher Man here, and it is another unboxing. Yes, today is another unboxing of a phone. This is the LG P999, also known as the G2X, um, and this is for Net10 again. If you haven't noticed, I'm kind of Net10 centric. Um, here's the side of the box that it came in, and this is actually from a third party company, but they team up with Net10 apparently and uh, cell phones for them came with the sim card and everything um, as you see right there sim card activation kit there is the phone itself inside the pretty pretty box um, and this is a little different than the net 10 phones I'm used to getting but I already got the uh, case you can see there to the right um, the red silicone jelly cases I like those um, and here is uh, opening the phone it's in the little clear case on the front phone itself again has one of those little silly fake phone stickies on the fronts of it makes it look like it's a real phone let's take that off and there we go um, it's a little bit I think it's maybe just a tad bigger than the black that I had the Optimus black but it does have a better camera um, on the inside it has two cores um, it has this little cool Google thing on the back which has a sticker on it too that I gotta peel off later um, power button is on the top still there's a HDMI port mini HDMI port on the top which is pretty cool um, it has the normal four buttons at the bottom um, there's the power supply and right next to the power supply is how you access the hatch the back and uh, let's open that up and they do not have the uh, the battery in so we gotta put the battery in we gotta put the mini SD card in slot right there and uh, this one already has the little uh, LG information right there for us. So let's see what's under here. It's pretty basic stuff. Got the power cord. There's the battery. Let's open that up. Pretty basic lithium battery. Uh, I've actually had this for a while now, so I'm actually doing a voiceover of the video that I did. I had got kind of lazy for a while, hadn't been putting up videos, so I'm going back over this. And I've actually had this, so this will also be partially a review of this. And um, I actually like this phone pretty good. It's, uh, it's, it's I guess it's a step up from the uh, black, which is pretty funny, because the black was more expensive, but this one is supposed to, to be a little better. Um, I noticed it is much better on the battery life. Um, don't know if that was just how much I was using the black, um, but this one's battery life is a little bit longer. And here is the, uh, the mini USB cord that also plugs in. Can, you can use for a uh, adapter to your computer to move information, and it also plugs into the power cord adapter, which is here. I like how they send those because then it's you know multi, and you don't have to have a whole separate cord. You, they can both just be two in one. So that's pretty nice. And it just plugs right in there in the end. And uh, a nice thing about using multiple LGs in the house uh, is that they all pretty much use the same power cord and the same uh, USB communication cord. Uh, a lot of the smartphones nowadays are all using the same type of cord for power. There's the little thing, the LG P999 or the G2X. Um, same power cord, so like I gave my black now to my daughter as an upgrade for her. And actually, for the black, I just ordered a brand new battery. I found on um, I found on uh, I think it was Amazon, and it's supposed to, it's almost like uh, two to three times the battery life. But in order to accommodate that, the size of the battery, it comes with a brand new back for the phone. Um, so that's going to be pretty interesting to see if it actually gives her the amount of. Um, more battery life. So now I've got to put in the SIM card. And you know, this is always important to make sure you put it in the way that they tell you to, because otherwise it, it's pretty useless. I probably should have put that in before I put in the battery, but I'm kind of stubborn, don't want to take the battery out. And it fits, yay! Um, so got that in. Now, if I remember right, uh, this one did not come with a separate mini SD card, mini US mini uh, uh, memory card 
but I already had one that I wanted to use anyway because it already had some songs and some pictures on there. So there it is right there in the bottom right hand corner. You know, it's so tiny it almost disappears. But there it is. So now we're going to go ahead and put that in. And again, it's important that you put it in the correct way. And you can see it's a little mini SD card. A lot of the phones nowadays come with one, but like I said, I already had mine, so I don't really mind it not coming with one. So I'm going to slide that in, and you know, they always slide in pretty easy. And then it's a little pop, and it's in there. Good. So then the back goes back on. Now with mine, like I said before, um, I already have Net 10, and I, my phone was already on Net 10, so I had already sw I was switching over from my black to this one, the phone number. So that's a little bit different if this is your first Net 10 phone. Uh, you, if it's your first Net 10 phone, it's it's still really simple. You just go on their website, um, have your information, and you you give it all to them. See, there's the HDMI port, the phone jack, and uh, I'm just taking off the little plastic coverings now while I'm talking. Um, but if you're switching, you just uh, tell them that's what you want to do, that you already have a Net10 phone number if you don't. See, so it's got two little speaker ports on the bottom, which are nice. Um, so I'm going to plug it in while, while uh, I'm working on it to help charge the battery. Anyway, so, you know, you can switch over your phone, and that's good. And also, uh, if you already have Android on another phone, and you use the same account, um, then you can re-download stuff you've paid for. Um, it, it, if you've backed up pictures, you can get those back. Uh, your contacts are backed up for you, so they come back up on your phone. And something that my wife and I do, which is pretty cool, is that we both share an account. So anything that she adds to her phone, I get on mine and vice versa. So if I add things to my calendar, it'll pop up on her phone. When she changes a picture on one of the contacts, it pops up on my phone. Uh, so that's pretty cool um, that it does that. only thing that I don't like is since, like, for example... Uh, we, we sell things on eBay and, uh, you know, for, for recently I just had got her something on eBay as a gift and it popped up on both phones because eBay was on both phones and kind of ruined the surprise. Uh, but when you're selling things and, and it, it's kind of cool if you have a partner or someone with you who, who can see that, but I should have thought that gift out better. I tried to turn off the, her notifications before it happened, but I was too late and so if um, you haven't signed up for one before, they send you these little information packs that have the information like the, uh, the number for your, for your phone for the SIM card so that if you call or if you type it in your information on the net, then you just put it in right from there. Um, and this little activation kit. Again, a lot of the ones that come directly from Net10, they already have the SIM card in there. Like I said, this one I got from the third-party company, which didn't have it in there because um, it was a third-party, but it had it in the package, and you saw it was pretty easy to put okay, in. Okay, so um, I got it turned on, and uh, let's get started on some setting it up some and seeing how the uh, different processes work. Again, if you've um, already had a, a Google account, already had downloaded stuff, paid for stuff, even if you uh, haven't paid for it, if you've downloaded it from the App Store, which they call the Play Store now, you can just download them again, um, which is pretty cool. And here they have the little Android, which he kind of walks you through the setup process, and then you can delete them when you're done. Um, but if you tap on his little information thing, it gives you helpful setup tips. Like if you want to move things on your screen, because you have five, this one has five home screens. This is the menu screen, and you can drag things from here. These are all the basic downloaded programs. If you hold one, like such, it'll take it out to the main menu. You can drop it on any of the screens. And these, you can actually even move the top bars. I don't remember if I do that in this one or not. But all those big top bars, they can move also. That right there is if you want to turn on the wireless, the Wi-Fi, which I'm doing now. But I haven't programmed it yet, so it searches, finds it. That's mine, the ZX. 
put in my password so I can sync everything up. And this is just like any other web code entry password. So if you got a Wi-Fi in your home, it's pretty simple. And now you can see on the top of my phone, it's connected to the Wi-Fi. Um, and even though it's picking up antenna, it's not connected to the antenna yet. So now, here we are back at the menu screen. These are all the applications that it comes with. I'm going to add my Google account. Um, uh, if you don't have one, you can create one now. Um, I already have one, so I'm just going to sign in. And uh, for those of you who don't know, I am Fat Preacher Man. So my Google account is, guess what, going to be Fat Preacher Man. Um, put that in real quick. Now, right now, one of the things that I don't like is that, it, the one thing I don't like, but it can be changed, is that this comes with just a regular type QWERTY keyboard. My uh, black actually came with a swipe keyboard, which I kind of got spoiled on. I love the swipe keyboard. But you can download a swipe keyboard. And I think it's only $0.99, cents, $1.99. Um, and I do, I, I, I do that, so you'll get to see me do that. And once you do it, they call it swipe plus dragon. And the dragon is the voice picking up thing, um, voice recognition software, so you can recognize things that you're doing. So as you can see, it's really, really simple to link your account to your phone. And then what it does is anything that you have synced to Google, it will sync for you. And then you can choose other things, which we're going to do, like Facebook or Twitter. You can also link those and sync those up. Um, so again, uh, here is my Gmail. You see some of the messages that I got. Um, now let's see what else we can do real quick. Uh, contacts. All my contacts should have synced up from my other phone. There you go. And uh, if you haven't used their contact information the thing, it's really nice. Again, now, uh, like I said, you don't want to share this with somebody. You don't want to share the information because you don't want to link accounts with someone that it, you don't want to link to. But uh, me and my wife, you know, I don't keep any secrets from her. She didn't keep any from me. So I don't really mind. And then it just updated me that there's a new email. So, and you can clear that. Don't really want to check that right now. Let's continue onward. Uh, let's see what else can we look at. Um, okay, here's little Android again. Let's finish with him. Again, he can give you some useful tips. Um, about moving the apps around. Let's do some more of that. Uh, now, you can delete things on here too, which we'll do in a minute. Um, but if you delete it on here, it doesn't remove it from your phone. It just takes it off the menu screen, off, off of the home screens. This moving stuff is just, again, just moving things around. Um, and you can move them from one side to another. You can even move the little Android. But you can move them from one home screen to another. Um, and it's showing you there how to remove something from the screen. It will still be down in your main menu under the, under the bottom. But let's say I want to move this camera over to the other home screen. Boom. There you go. There it is. Let go. And it's right there. Now, did you see the little trash can at the bottom? If I want to delete something, I press and hold it. The trash can pops up at the bottom until I can, and I can drag it down and get rid of it in the trash can. Um, so that's that. See if he has anything else. Done with this widget. Touch and hold it. And when it vibrates, drag it to the trash. Let's, yeah, I think he's about useless now. And goodbye, widget. There's the trash can. Get in the trash. Ah, he's all gone. Good. Like I said, those top bars can also be moved. I know I do that later on my phone. Don't know if I do that here. But I moved all the, all the top main bars to one screen. And then I have all my touch ones on another one. And here's all the music I already had on my SIM card, which is already up and ready to go. Uh, you can also access, if you have Amazon Prime and you have the Amazon Cloud Player, you can access that from here, which is pretty cool. Um, I didn't really show it right there, but as I've connected my Google account, the phone comes with the built-in weather and stuff right here. That's the news and weather. But on the one page, on the top, the main bar, it accesses that for you automatically. Uh, Nicole on her phone 
it actually has one of the backgrounds which is from AccuWeather that the background displays the weather which is pretty cool so if it's sunny outside the background is all sunny if it's rainy it looks all rainy if it's nighttime it looks like nighttime which is pretty interesting uh, but I don't have that one here so again that's the Play Store icon you go in there and uh, you can access the different apps and stuff um, using the agreement you know nobody ever reads these things do you want to accept so let's go inside you got apps music books movies search you can search for things So, for example, there's this game that Nicole and I play, uh, Sugar BC and I play, called Word Feud. And if I look for it, right there it is, Word Feud. And if you look next to it, it says that it's already purchased. So I've already paid for it. So I can click on it and just re-download it. I don't have to pay for it again. And then up top is the little install button. Click that, accept and download, and it installs to your phone. That's pretty much how all of the uh, applications work. They take you through several screens, and as long as you have a good connection, it happens pretty fast because most of the apps aren't that big, and it all depends upon the internal memory of your phone, how much they can actually hold. Um, the logic that Sugar Beastie had for a while, unfortunately, couldn't hold that many apps. Um, now, you can go in here and see which apps you already have. You can check your settings from the Google Store. How you want to update, if you want to auto update, if you want to auto add widgets. Um, you can look at different ad, change your ads, check out licenses, all those sorts of things. Let's go back in here. Let's go to my apps. So again, here's the ones I've already downloaded, like I've already downloaded and paid for the Bible. So I can do that again. I need to pay for it twice. Download. And installing. So there's the Bible app again on my phone. Again. And then any of the apps, you can see that little weird symbol at the top next to the uh, magnifying glass that's a share so if you want to share that you got these then you can anything you want to search for you can just type in now I'm getting ready to get the swipe there it is swipe now the one that I found that works the best is not at the top there not that slide it key free keyboard that one you don't want that one I tried that one out it doesn't work that well Hopefully I show you the one that I got. If I don't, it's called Swipe and it has Dragon with it and it works pretty good. Uh, again, I don't think it's free. I think I had to end up paying for it, but it's the one that works best. So let's uh, look at another one of my favorite apps to use on here and it's the YouTube. Now this is not the updated version of the YouTube. Um, but you can get different versions of it um, and it just depends on which way you like to use it um, the the new one is 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 probably better but I was using this one at the time and it works just fine if you want to watch stuff um, and this is my channel again fat preacher man um, looking through the videos the uploads and stuff you can click on them watch them you can rate them um, you can even upload directly from your phone um, to YouTube uh, you can share things. There's the share button at the top in the middle. You can control the sound, of the volume on the side over there in just for the videos. Um, and you can uh, add comments. Now the one thing I don't like is you can't comment on comments. You can only comment on the video itself. So I can't reply to a comment that someone has left which as a YouTube creator is something that I find myself all of having to do so on my YouTube channel I make sure that uh, it informs me whenever I have a comment so then my Gmail uh, notifies me when I have a comment so I can read it 
And if it's urgent enough, I make sure I get to a computer and respond to it. If not, I just save it and remind myself later to respond to it. Um, but, again, it's good for being able to read them and know what you need to get rid of. Uh, this one came with a nice little cleaning cloth. So I'll clean that off before I put it in its case. And again, I like to get the cases at the same time. As you can see, there's the red case in the background. thought I'd go with something different. Usually I get black. But I do like the nice jelly cases because they provide a way for the phone. If you set it down, it adds like a little buffer so the phone's surface doesn't actually sit on anything. So And then, you know, it's soft. It doesn't slide out of your hand. Um, and, and it fits nicely. This one that I got fits nicely. Um, on the phone itself. I had a horror story of the one I got for Nicole for her new phone. That thing was like, you know, a loose pair of socks just kept slipping around. The phone was jiggling in it. It was gross. Um, so I had to get her another one. But um, that's that. It slips in nice and easy. So just recommendations. I, I like the phone overall. If, you, if you're looking for a good phone, I think this one was around $199, $249. So it's more affordable than some of the other ones out there. And it's supposed to be faster. I don't know about the speed per se because I don't really get caught up in that, but it is 4G. So if you're looking for a 4G phone, it is 4G. Again, just ch you use the Net 10 to check in your area. Go to their website, and you can check in their area to see if it um, if you have coverage because you have to have coverage for it to work. You, you, you can say 4G all at once, and if you don't have coverage, it's not going to matter. But I do have coverage where I'm at, so um, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, the, the battery life on this, like I said, is better. I've had a lot of different experiences with battery life. One thing I've been recommending to my daughters with their phones is to make sure that you shut down applications you're not using. Like, for example, the Bluetooth, the Wi-Fi, once you're out of the house, turn the Wi-Fi off because it's going to keep searching for it and recognizing any Wi-Fi as it come up. So you can just tap on the icon right there on the top left and turn it off. Um, the updates you can turn off when you're not uh, near Wi-Fi because, again, you don't want to search in for updates. It's just eating up your memory and things like that. A lot of applications will leave background services running um, while you are um, doing whatever. So you can always go to the settings screen and turn those off um, and f force stop them. Uh, you can un you, some, most of the things that it come installed on the phone I found you have difficulty trying to uninstall. Um, you can move them around. You cannot use them. And you can make them not be able to upgrade or uh, uh, have updates, but it, to really get rid of them, like the Google Maps, you can't get rid of. Um, at least I can't. If you found a way, please leave a comment. I'd love to know how to do it because I'm pretty tired of them of that running all the time. Uh, so right now, as you can see, I'm just setting up my home screen. And the, pretty much the way that I have it on my phone now is that I have one main home screen that I use... Um, and then the other ones are, are pretty blank and uh, except for like on the main home screen in the middle I have all my little things I have the calendar the clock Gmail I have the word view game I play with sugar beastie um, my bank camera music and then if I slide over to the right um, is all the bars the Google search bar the uh, the settings bar music bar and then the weather bar uh, I have my Facebook app, which I'm downloading on the main one, right next to YouTube. Uh, Facebook, again, it, you, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter can all be really interconnected, and they're really easy to access and use on the phone. So if that's something that you're into, it's it's a good thing. Uh, one thing is uh, I've noticed with Google now, when I take pictures, if you uh, if you turn on the setting, it will automatically save your pictures to Google for you. It won't share them unless you tell it to, but it will save them. So be careful what you take pictures of um, unless of course you don't mind and, and, and you're into sharing all sorts of pictures and it is a good way to make sure that they get out there um, but it only do it to Google you have to tell Facebook and and Twitter the things that you want to share but here's Facebook and it's pretty much like anything the Facebook that you've used before um, uh, yeah see here this is the swipe the first swipe I downloaded which I didn't like it's not it's not the one that I really liked, which I had for the other other phone. So I read, I went on later, and I got the one that I like. Again, it's, it's just Swipe, capital S-W-Y-P-E, with Dragon. And the Dragon is the voice recognition software. So if you want to speak something into your phone, which is pretty cool, um, and it works pretty well. It's, it does pretty good, at least with my voice. Um, 
But if you have any different opinions, if you've had any different luck with it, I'd love to hear your thoughts, your feedback. If you have any questions, um, anything you'd like to see reviewed or gone over, um, I've actually taken some pictures with the phone, and they're on my Facebook page, which is Fat Preacher Man. And if you haven't been there, I'd love you to come by and uh, check it out. Um, send me a friend request on uh, Facebook. Looking for more friends, more people to share ideas with. Um, one of the things Sugar BC just pointed out, also oh quietly, I don't know if you heard the scribbling in the background, she didn't want to talk, but her phone that I got her, which is the Galaxy S2, I'm having trouble how to figure out if, if her phone can use music as ringtones that you have on the phone or the SIM on, on the memory card. So far, I don't think hers can, unless you download an app or something, which I haven't done. Mine can. This one can. The the, the P999 can. Um, and even the LG Logic, I believe, can. Uh, but this one can't. So that's pretty interesting that the Galaxy S2, which is, seems so far superior and sophisticated even to this phone, can't do that so far as I know at this moment. Again, if you know anything different, please share. Uh, I'd love to know. And as always, you know, I'm going to I'm just going to ask you to like, subscribe, favorite, share, add, and uh maybe even do a video response. Anything that uh that you'd like to see on the channel, make sure you check out our playlists. Um we have a lot of plays as far as, far as phones. I've done quite a few different phones now, so depending upon what type of phone you're looking for, price range you have, um there's different ones available. Going to put some links up down below and of course, I'm going to ask you to come check out our um, eBay page. It's Fat Preacher Man Studios, and yes, I did misspell it. So it looks like Fat Preacher Man Studios. Um, but come on by and check it out. Selling all sorts of stuff, magic, um, the gathering stuff, uh, movies, Blu-rays, um, all sorts of things. One time I had a uh, prosthetic leg on there. So come on by, see if there's anything you want to, want to get. Um, love to see you there. And again, love to see some of your videos. So if you are on YouTube, subscribe. And as long as your channel isn't full of pornography, I'll subscribe back. Uh, leave comments below, but no cursing because I will delete it. And if you curse multiple times, I will block you. Um, last thing about the phone, as you see here, is the auto updates, which it's doing for me. I didn't, you know, one thing about auto updates is it does it, it seems to me, like inopportune times when I don't want it to. And there's that stupid maps updating. Oh, I hate the map. Um, again, if you can find a way to get rid of that, please share it with me. Um, I guess the auto updates can be good, but at the same time, if you can turn, if you, if you can live without it and just update yourself every once in a while, check to see if there's updates, then I would suggest that's the way to go. Um, here we, uh, here I am going on Word Feud. And if you play Word Feud, you know, hit me up, maybe we can play a game. Uh, it's Fat Preacher Man. Um, Pretty much anywhere you go, it's Fat Preacher Man. And be sure to check out some of the new videos I have. I'm hating on the Xbox, on my Xbox One reveal. Um, I've done the uh, PS4 information videos. Pretty excited about the new PS4 information that will be coming out at E3. Um, and we'll see what else Xbox has to reveal. Hopefully, they'll talk about some games when E3 comes up. And uh, be sure to check back for more videos. So, again, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great day, a great week. Jesus bless you, and good YouTubing. Shit.